Um, I'm a disabled veteran who fosters, rescues these three colonies in three separate locations that TNRs cats in my community. I like to educate uh, in, about animal welfare and just share my experiences that I've had in animal welfare, but I also work full time as well. So it can be quite, it's rewarding, but it, it's a lot to handle with one person. My motto is, I don't make excuses, I make it happen. I still get to spread the message about TNR even on the bus because people ask who's in that carrier, who's in that trap. So the message still gets spread even on the bus. They kicking the cats. They do. Why do they kick the cats? I don't really know. That's not nice, right? Trap Queen has a negative view in the inner city, and I want to change it from a negative to a positive. And my version of Trap Queen represents change. It represents diversity. Being a woman of color and animal welfare, it represents the lack of diversity. And it does represent doing the impossible, not making excuses, making it happen. As a woman of color and animal welfare, I use my platform to discuss sensitive and thought-provoking discussions, such as the lack of diversity in animal welfare. A famous quote by Malcolm X still rings true, more than a half a century later. And that is, the most disrespected person in America is the black woman. The most unprotected person in America is the black woman. And the most neglected person in America is the black woman. So I believe that we should be protecting our black women inside and outside of animal welfare. Because that quote still holds true to this day. Thank you, Bodega Cats.